Every day, mankind is pushing further and further into nature's territory, so it's no surprise that sometimes Mother Nature likes to push back. Just like humans, plants and animals are learning to adapt to their changing surroundings. Here are 10 examples of animals that are evolving to the modern world. Elephants Many people believe that an elephant's tusks are similar to human wisdom, but in reality they are tools and weapons. Male elephants use their tusks for digging, knocking down trees, and battling other males during mating season. Before the international ban on ivory agreement in 1989, millions of elephants were being hunted for their tusks. Nowadays, the majority of pachyderms in the wild has dwindled largely due to illegal poaching. As a result, they are evolving to protect themselves. Roughly 5 to 10 percent of male Asian elephants are now born without tusks compared to the 2 to 5 percent prior to 2005. In Africa, the numbers are upwards of 38 percent within the national park. Capuchin Monkey in Rio de Janeiro, the citizens are dealing with a string of robberies. Capuchin monkeys in the area have joined together by the dozens and are sneaking into people's homes. Primatologists believe that the monkeys are associating humans with food as many well-meaning people find the small creatures cute and harmless. They provide the capuchins with small amounts of food, which strengthens the association. This behavior intensifies during seasonal food scarcity in the forest. Unable to find enough to eat in their own environment, they infiltrate the city knowing that humans have food. Peppered Moth Humans influence the world around them more than they realize sometimes, like during the Industrial Revolution in Great Britain and the United States. When the air began to fill with pollutants and soot from coal fires and began to blanket everything, nature needed to adapt. One creature was the peppered moth, an off-white moth with speckled dark spots on their wings. Against the soot-darkened trees, they were clearly visible to predators, so over the generations they began to evolve with a darker pigment. This natural Natural selection meant that more dark moths were being born as the light-colored ones were eaten. When the pollution control laws came into place during the 1970s, the darker moths became targets and lighter moths were once again more common, adapting to the change once more. Babyana Ringens in South Africa, there was a ground flower called Babyana ringens, locally known as the rat's tail. It's pollinated by birds, primarily the malachite sunbird, but they are reluctant to approach given the dangers of landing on the ground. In order to survive, this plant has evolved to grow a firm, branchless stalk that's perfect for perching on. Research has shown that plants without stalks produce only half as many seeds as the plants that do. Polar Bears as global warming and ocean pollution continues to affect the polar bear population in the Arctic, scientists are finding more and more polar bear hybrids. One of these hybrids found in the wild are growler bears, a cross between polar and grizzly bears. They were first confirmed in 2006 when a licensed hunter shot what he thought was a polar bear but noticed grizzly-like features. In 2010, an Inuit hunter came across a growler grizzly bear hybrid, proving they are fertile unlike many other hybrid species, such as mules or ligers. Atlantic Tomcod the Hudson River was heavily polluted when General Electric began dumping over a million pounds of polychlorinated biphenyl into the waters in 1947. The horrible practice continued until 1976, leaving much of the local wildlife dead or mutated. The one animal that not only survived but thrived during this time were the Atlantic tomcod. For nearly 50 generations, these fish pulled off something that usually takes thousands of years. They developed an immunity to the poisons in the waterway. Yellow-bellied three-toed skink in New South Wales, Australia, scientists have discovered something very interesting about the yellow-bellied three-toed skink population. Skinks living along the coast are laying eggs as they have always done, but the skinks in the mountains have begun to give birth to live young. Research has shown that climate may be affecting this change. The coast's warm weather is predictable enough to maintain eggs, whereas in the cooler mountains, the mother's own body temperature is more reliable. House Mouse 
The common house mouse has been considered a household pest for many, many years. All kinds of humane and not-so-humane traps have been created solely to remove them. At some point, however, the house mouse began crossbreeding with Algerian mice in Europe. Roughly 50% of these hybrid mice are sterile, but the other half have proven fertile. Algerian mice have a naturally higher resistance to poisons, but their hybrid pups seem to be completely immune. They have adapted and evolved in such a way that they cannot be killed with pesticides. Crazy Ants a species of tawny-colored ants that multiply extremely rapidly have been dubbed crazy ants due to their apparent erratic tendencies. Crazy ants are known to invade electronic devices such as plugs, computers, and televisions, leading some experts to believe they are attracted to the electricity itself. Others believe the ants have adapted to use the nooks provided by the devices to easily build their colonies. The ants stream by the hundreds into the target device, causing it to short. While this behavior kills many of them, it allows the others to begin building. Moscow Dogs in the last 30 years, the stray dog population in Moscow has exploded. More than 35,000 dogs roam the streets searching for food and shelter. Researcher Andrei Poyarkov has been studying the dogs and has divided them into four distinct groups. Scavenger dogs are classified by their habit of rummaging through garbage for food. Guard dogs have learned that security personnel will provide them with food in exchange for serving as semi-feral assistants. Wild dogs seem to have taken a step back on the evolutionary track, hunting mice, rats, and even cats to survive. Finally, there are beggar dogs that rely on scraps given by humans and have learned to recognize humans most likely to provide them with food. They have even evolved to possess a greater intelligence such as learning how to take the subway. We hope you found this video interesting and informative. Don't forget to leave us a comment down below letting us know what you think. And please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to The Riches for more awesome videos daily. Thank you for watching.